welcome to Venerini Academy. My name is Katie O'Brien and I am the Admissions and Enrollment Director here at VA. Like many of your students, our students are currently at home doing some remote learning during the ongoing pandemic. So we're missing sort of the hustle and bustle that normally accompanies these halls, but hopefully this virtual tour will give you a look at life at VA and a little bit about what our classrooms are like. So feel free to join me. So right now we are in one of our preschool classrooms. The Venerini Pre-K program serves students age 2.9 all the way through age four. And it is a really holistic program that includes academics and a lot of playtime, trying to encourage students to gain their independence, find their voice and personality, as well as set them up for kindergarten and beyond at Venerini. So they do cover a lot of topics such as their numbers, counting, their letters, um, learning beginning sounds, as well as STEM, like all of our older students through our WPI partnership. So they do get a lot of we engineering, which is a fun way for them to explore the beginning steps of the engineering process. In addition to that, because we are a part of the whole school, these students will get to go to specials just like the um, elementary and middle school students. So they do get to participate in library, um, art, music each week, and then we will throw in computers once they get to age four and it becomes a little bit more appropriate to start introducing technology to them. Right now we are in our Venerini second grade classroom, or one of them. A lot of our grades will be broken up into two classes, normally ranging from 10 to 15 students. We do that because we really want to keep the class sizes small so that students get a lot of personal attention from their teacher. Most grades do have an assistant that will work their way through both classrooms, helping the teacher as needed and providing a little bit more individual attention to the students who need a little bit of extra help. We do try to really play to our students' strengths and weaknesses, identifying those early on, and really trying to figure out what way they learn best so that we can best serve them throughout their elementary years and into middle school as well. Here at Venerini, our students are very excited by the time they finally reach middle school in sixth grade. Um, it sort of feels like a culmination of all their hard work and now they are the big kids in school. They also finally get to start switching classes. So they will get a new teacher for English language arts, science um, and robotics, social studies, a foreign language and religion every day, which is very exciting and will help them sort of figure out how to manage a course load with different classes and different teachers. So we start teaching them study habits and how they can really keep organized. Of course, we do integrate STEM and robotics into the program at this point, um, getting a whole section of curriculum just dedicated to robotics and engineering, which is a lot of fun, and they do a lot of collaborative hands-on learning in middle school. It's also where they start to get to take a little bit more independence in their learning. For example, in English language arts, sometimes they do get to choose how they present their work. If they feel really comfy writing a paper or they want to test their skills and do an oral presentation, it falls to them to decide sometimes, which is a really cool perk of being a middle schooler. In addition to that, there are a lot of opportunities for our middle school students, um, such as Student Council, the Honor Society, being an admissions ambassador, um, leaders in our art club, helping in the math club to help students with their homework in the lower grades, so they really get to step up and be leaders in their school. At Vanarini, all of our students get to participate in a wide variety of specials, allowing them to explore interests beyond purely academics. So each student will get library once a week, art once a week, music, gym, and computers, as well as a foreign language beginning in kindergarten. So right now we are in our library. Our librarian is a really great resource for the students, doing story times, coordinating author visits for them, as well as really working with the older kids to become really effective users of technology. We do have a couple sets of Chromebooks for both our lower school and our middle school students to use, and our librarian works really hard with the older students, teaching them the right ways to go about online research, as well as working with them to do some 3D printing and engineering work as well. So it's a really great resource. Our students love coming up into the library, and especially as they get older and gain a little bit more independence, they're in and out on their own, bringing in books, checking them out, and just chatting with our librarian about some of their latest reads. 
The school day officially starts at Benarini at 8.30. Teachers will open up their doors at 8.15 for students to come in in the morning and get settled, but it's also a great chance for parents to check in with teachers before the school day starts, see how a child is doing, maybe set up a meeting if needed. Um, but a lot of the time students will need to be dropped off earlier than 8.15, and for that reason we do have a before school and an after school program. Before school starts at 7.30 and after school goes until 5.30. The great thing about our before and after school program is that it is drop-off based so you don't need a set schedule ahead of time whenever you need a little extra time in the morning or in the afternoon you can just send your student to after school and they will be taken care of normally by at least two of our after school coordinators and assistants. So Venerini Academy is of course a Catholic school. We are named for St. Rosa Venerini um, and the Venerini sisters are still working within the school keeping a presence and maintaining Rosa Venerini's mission which is to educate is to liberate. Um, they work within the teaching capacity at our middle school level teaching religion in the admissions office and of course the provincial sister Teresa Rose is of course still working in her office every day. Right now, we are in our chapel. Venerini is very lucky to have a chapel right here on campus. We do about one to two prayer services or masses each month. And actually, once our students hit grade two and are feeling confident reading in front of a crowd, they will come up and lead the masses themselves, taking care of the readings, the altar serving, and all of the things that go along with the mass and preparing for mass. Of course, we do open that up to families and the Venerini community. So we oftentimes have alumni or mom and dads, grandparents coming in to um, enjoy our masses with us. We are, you will hear Venerini family a lot in, during your visit at Venerini, and of course we use this as a community event, so even if a student is not Catholic, it's really just embracing those values, humility, kindness, um, love for yourself and others, and of course, faith. So now we're in the Venerini gym. This is where all of our physical education classes take place. Mrs. Sebo does those once a week with each grade level, um, and they will do all the way through 2.9 through eighth grade. They will do different games, fitness challenges, um, <clears throat> as well as leadership and team building activities throughout their gym class. In addition to that, we now have a health and wellness program that we have started towards the end of this year and will continue into next year, touching on topics such as physical fitness, mental health, um, nutrition, and some other topics as well. In addition to that, we do have a robust sports program here at Venerini. So starting in pre-K, they can start doing yoga, best soccer, which is sort of teaching them the fundamentals of soccer and how to be on a team. And then as they get older, they are opened up to opportunities like archery, tennis, um, basketball is our biggest one. We'll take a look at the banners in a little minute here. But um, starting in grade five, they do become competitive teams um, and we do pretty well. So that is a fun tradition for the Venerini family. Right now we're in the Venerini Academy Auditorium, which is a great gathering spot for a lot of different community events, primarily being the Christmas pageant, which we throw every year. That offers a great chance for our eighth graders to get some drama experience and acting up on stage, but we do have all grade levels starting with the very little 2.9s um, performing for their parents and grandparents in two shows each year, which is a whole lot of fun and a great tradition for the Venerini community. In addition to that, we use this space in a number of ways for extracurriculars. We know that just because the school day ends doesn't mean learning stops. So we do like to offer our students a lot of different clubs and extracurriculars they can join, some of them taking place right in this auditorium, including jazz band which was actually created just a couple years ago by our middle school students themselves when they wanted to continue playing, but we're a little bit past the point of taking private lessons. Um, we also do a geography bee up here. Our debate club holds meetings here as well, which was actually again started this year by some middle school students and a faculty advisor. But as I said, there's a lot of options for our students to really branch out and pursue interests beyond the academic realm. And that concludes our virtual tour. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like a more in-depth conversation or if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to the admissions office. All of our information is right online and we will get back to you. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Bye-bye.